I'm Denora, and I work on the Altar Guild, and today I want to show you just a little snippet of what we do in the Altar Guild to get ready for Sunday morning services. Come on into the Altar Guild room. So each week you might think about, oh my gosh, we bring the wine up from the back of the church up to the, up to the altar, and when we do that, the, you might watch sometimes that the priest mixes the wine with the water. And the altar guild, we're the, the folks that are responsible to make sure everything goes where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to just show you that little tiny part of the service this, this right now. So what we do first is I'm going to get the wine out, just so that you know where it is. So we, we hold it in this closet down here. We do keep it locked up because it's something sacred to us. I'm going to put it over by the sink here. Because that way, if something spills, it's not as um, tragic as <laughs> when it spills somewhere else. What we do is we will, we will put some wine in this cruet, and we will put some water. Oh, this is called a cruet, in case you want to know. That's what we hold the wine and the water in. Uh, during Lent, we use different cruets than we do during uh, the regular seasons. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to be very careful about pouring wine into the wine cruet. Um, I would invite anybody to do this, but I have to tell you it's a little scary because you want to be very careful not to spill it because it, it will make a mess. So I very slowly will pour the wine in. Oh, see? I spilled. Very slowly I'm going to pour the wine in. And we go about three quarters of the way. And then I'm going to cap it back up and put it back in its cabinet. And I will lock that back up again. And put the key away. And then I'm going to make sure that I did not make as much of a mess. Hold that thought here for a second while I go and get a handy dandy paper towel. Then I'm going to, I did make a mess, I'm going to wipe around it so that when we put this back on the table, it doesn't make the same mess that I've made on this table. Okay, so we've got wine. We're going to have, we have a little bit of water. I'm going to put a little bit more water into the, into the cruet. I'm going to dry that off as well because we don't want to make a mess at the altar. And then... I'm going to tell you about the bread. So, we have caps to put on top of the wine and the water. Let me toss that in there. And then we do bread. And so the bread, we will, we have some already cut up here. Let me show you that. So each week, uh, we in the altar guild, we, uh, somebody bakes the bread for us in the, in the church family. Somebody breaks the bread and they bring it to us. And when they bring it to us, we, we cut some of it. We don't cut all of it because you might remember that Reverend Sarah will bring the bread up and she prays with it throughout the ceremony and breaks it apart. But we will cut some of it up to make, uh, make it a little easier when we're doing communion. This is already cut up so you can see what that is. Then we'll cover it back up here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the back of the church. And I'm going to show you that in just a second here. So we're going to bring the wine and the bread to the back of the church. Come on with me. I was going to say, I don't want the back of my back on you, so here we go. <laughs> so this is probably one of the easier things that we do in the altar guild. We do a lot of things. You might notice, sometimes we have flowers up on the altar. We take care of making sure that they get up on the altar. We make sure that... Um, that the table, that would be the altar, is set, meaning that there's a, a cup, also known as a chalice, is already up there for us, uh, well, for the ceremony. I'm gonna put the bread and the wine here, and later on in our service, what'll happen is, sometimes my, my friends that are younger will bring up the bread and wine to the altar uh, for our communion service, and sometimes it's an adult. It doesn't matter who it is, but we will leave that here, and then what'll happen is, during the ceremony, it'll be brought up to the altar, and we will use it from there. And then, here's the water, and we're going to put that over here on the greeting table. That's what we call this one, the greeting table. It already has a beautiful cloth on it that we cover everything with to keep it sacred. 
So we'll keep the water there, and then later on in the ceremony, Sarah will mix the water and the wine, and then we'll serve it out to the community. Thanks so much for coming and seeing me today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime and ask me. I'm ready. Thank you. Hi, I'm Linda McLaughlin, and I'm pleased to have you here. Go see Papua, and great to have you here. Hi, I'm Siska Hansen. I'm part of the Ultra Guild. Oh. <laughs>